Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Immortal Cities Children of the Nile and today we're off for the third mission in the easy run and I actually checked up the pronunciation of this town and it's Ititavi so yeah third mission should still be easy right mm, I don't think so restored to unity and prosperity Egypt now turns toward a time of grand exploration and marvelous projects. Your people are eager to serve you and to shape the world by your design. The Nile is long and the world vast. Many unknown areas await exploration. Opportunities are everywhere. Gather your resources together from afar and grow your capital. Shall you build the prince's wall to defend your Asian border? Or will Pharaoh choose to dredge canals through the Fayum to open up new land for cultivation? Your strong hand will shape Egypt's destiny forever. Okay, so we got a bit of a monument building mission here. So build a monument to Hathor, deal with the Libyan raiders, so we have to get city guards and an army or possibly a navy, but I don't think that's the case. And build the prince's wall or dredge a canal to the fame. Sounds easy, right? Yeah, not really. So let's see what we got here. Okay, let's pause. And um, we have a little bit of a desert with some basalt and nothing more well we can get stellas at least then the question is do we have any pre-built structures doesn't look like it nope but anyway we don't have that much um, space to build on but you know we're Egyptian so we should build in the desert right so let's start with, of course, the palace, as always. So I'll place you right there, in the middle of it all. Then I'm gonna get... Let's see here... One, two, three, fourth. Let's make a noble block right there. Let's get a few roads. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Well, thank you, map, for moving me. I remove a road of plaza, remove that one. Make sure that we have a road all around it. And like that. Then we need a few uh, shopkeeps. It shouldn't be too hard to get, I guess. And fortunately for us, we do have, uh, well, the flood plains is right there, so we shouldn't be uh, having food problems anytime soon. Let's see if we do like this. A little bit of basic grid here to get us started. Okay, so common shopkeep. One, two, three, four. One of each should be more than fine. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Because you now we need all the luxury we can find to keep our nobles happy. And of course, a few entertainers. One, two. Well, let's get four. Because, you know, why not? Then the question is, how many farmers can we get? Four per each, plus this one, that's 20. 20 right off the bat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's spread them out a little bit. I already have farms. Where do I have farms? So 
Seriously, where do I have farms? Where am I just crap at counting? Well, yes. That, that could easily be the case. But I need two more. One, two. And of course, you guys need a path to walk on. To make things a little bit better for you. Not too good, but uh, at least something. Right? And we also need a uh, not brickyard, but brick makers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four brick layers. We need a brick yard right there. And we don't have that many um, villagers in this area, so we have to be a little bit cautious and not overextend. I'm going to need a priest. I'm going to build you right there. And then I need a school because I don't want to uh, make the same mistake as in the last mission. That road like that, perfect. We need a few servants as well. Let's see here, one, two, three, four. And of course, I need one. Now we do have to remember that. Um, that we will get Libyan Raiders on this mission, so we have to uh, get a military up and running eh, somewhat fast. Or rather, city guards. So we could actually get some military equipment. One weapon set, one armor. Not sure if we can get. Uh, bronze on this mission, but uh, we'll find out at some point. Now what else do we have on this map that can be of use for We have basalt. Do we have any other type of mineral? We have some quartz, coal. A whole lot of bushes and reeds and stuff like that. Quartz, quartz. We don't have any gold, it seems. Oh well, it, it could be worse. We can already get two more farms. That's a good development right there. Now that will be... Uh, our main economy right there, we get a whole lot of farmers, so we get food. And then of course we need a whole lot of bricks, so we can build our priest apartments and all that stuff. And of course, our tomb, which we will need at some point. Maybe this will be the time where we will uh, build ourselves our first pyramid. Maybe. Let's see what we can uh, do, at least. I do want to expand as much as possible. Not gonna get the best first harvest, but it's gonna be something at least. Which reminds me that I need a granary. 
and also a baker or two. Because, you know, prepared food is always good to have. But we have to make sure not to overextend. Because building too much right now is going to kill us. We need uh, a tomb very soon. Not sure if you will build the uh, granary first. You will do the education. Thank you very much. Question is though if I should get some um, more brick makers. I mean they're useful, especially when you're gonna start building um, a whole bunch of um, statues and stuff like that. So I do think we're gonna build a few more, just to make sure that we always have a lot of bricks lying around. that. Let's see if some people move in anytime soon. Here comes the flood. Run little guy. Moving into the farmhouse. Okay, that's good. Good for you. You don't have any... Well, the stocks are a little bit low at the time. So, um... Well, which, which is, you know, uncommon. They are new to the area. They want to buy all the goods they can find and they will... Oh, and the shopkeepers haven't really been able to uh, fill up their stores yet. So they can't buy it and then they get pissy and, well, it's an endless cycle, more or less. Right, I need a brickyard over here as well, so you don't have to run all the way over here to store it. Feral Malchus the first, at 18 years old, you're leaving your peak years. I do not like those odds. Leaving the peak years at 18. Ooh, entertainers, you are going to a feast. How lovely. Am I invited? I probably am. But you know, me being the... Uh, Fair and all, I don't, probably don't have time because I have to make sure everything runs as smoothly as possible. Come on. Hurry up. Build the granary. And then you probably build the bakery and the uh, weapons and armors workshop. And then, in the end, we'll get to the priest department and the school. Maybe. Now, as I said earlier, the um, amount of villagers on this map is extremely low. We only have 39 left. So yeah, don't count on um, too big of a city in the beginning. I mean, they will uh, increase slowly but steadily. But until then, we'll just have to keep it slow. Bakeries going up. The armor workshop is going up. Now we have a steady flow of bricks coming in, which means that we can build things a bit quicker. And I'm gonna build a road up here. Maybe like that. And build four small master bus for these noblemen. And I think I should build 
my um, tomb area over here. Or maybe we should build the uh, pyramid over here. Just to make sure that uh, it's nice and central. Everyone can see it. Okay, what's the next bakery up? Okay, well, I'm not complaining. The bakery is a crucial building. Question is guard post. I should build one. Place it right there and build one. And place it there. I also need soldiers. One, two to start with. Of course they also cost bricks but only five, so shouldn't be too bad. Come on, Harvest. We can't lay low right now. We need to uh, make sure that we don't starve. And I'm pretty sure you can do it. Not starve, that is. Uh, Priest department is done. The school is halfway there. Should be doing just fine. I hope at least. We could actually go directly to build the um, commander's building right away. And just skip the um, tomb for now. I mean, the school is up and running. We need the commander so we can't have the city guard running. Which also means that I need a training ground. Uh, right there, right next to the palace, because why not? Nothing bad has ever come from that. I mean, they, they need their morale boost, seeing that they are protecting the God King. Uh, we also need... Um, Gardeners, at least one, so we can uh, supply our elite with some saplings so they can grow their own orchards. Those are really needed. Okay, you cost almost nothing. We have plenty of food right now, which is good. I'm gonna start with... Actually, how about I place the first master buff for me over here. And then I place the four small ones for the nobleman. And next one we make another nobleman area over here maybe. Have a small area with one of mine as well. I don't know, we'll see what the future holds. Because I'm never quite sure how things will turn out in this game. Commander's quarters is being built. Awesome. Now let's wait for the master boat to be built before we start building more priest apartments and shrines. Because they will want shrines. Yeah, they, they definitely want shrines. And the planting season has started. You are 
not even working yet, but you're on your way. Let's see if you can... You're working on a city guard. I should probably get one for the army. I'm guessing there will be a... Um, like a puppet on the map here saying that there's a Nubian army over here. Go and beat the crap out of them. And then we can go and see what happens. Okay, so... Uh, I do believe that we have a good start here. People are being relatively happy, although they don't have any uh, access to uh, healthcare or funeral services or religion services right now, which should be uh, handled in the next episode, which will be tomorrow because it's time to end this one. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Take care and bye-bye.